Okay, so let's install git. First thing we're going to install is git extensions. And I'm going to download the latest version. And run that. Install for all users of this machine. We're going to install msys git and kdf3, which is the merge tool. Here's where you can select the different plugins that it comes with, such as Visual Studio or Windows Explorer. I prefer not to use Windows Explorer. We're going to use PuTTY for our SSH client. And install. It's important to note sometimes this KDF3 installer will actually cover up your window and you'll be sitting here for a while. Uh, so just pay attention for that, that it's actually in the background. Hit agree. And this is the msysgit installer. And adjusting the path, we are going to run git from the Windows command prompt. Now it's important on this step to just choose checkout Windows style, commit Unix style line endings. Okay, so now we have git extensions installed. <laughs> What I'm going to do now is run git extensions and um, set up our SSH keys. So when communicating with the remote server, it will use the SSH implementation. And to do that, we need a public and private key. So let's go to remotes, putty, generate or import key. And then we'll click generate and then move your mouse around this area to generate randomness. It's going to generate our key. Now we're going to uh, optionally choose a password or just leave blank. So let's save our private key and I'm going to put it under my documents. Uh, yeah, I'm going to put it under my documents folder, call it uh, SSH keys. And we'll just call this one private.ppk. And let's save our public key. Same as save direct, same directory and we'll just name it public. Now let's go on to Bitbucket and set our so what I'm going to do is inside this this text box we'll copy this text and head over to Bitbucket. I'm going to go to my account and SSH keys and I'm going to add a new key. I'll just add Cicely. So Cicely is my computer name. I'll just say uh, Cicely. Well, I'll name it two because I already have one here paste that in here. Add key. So that's been added. So we can close out of this. So now that we have that set up, we want to start the authentication agent, which will go to remotes, putty, start authentication agent. And I'll put this little icon down here. And then let's add the key we just created, which was under user folder, SSH key, and we'll select the private key. Uh, anytime you're connecting to a, a remote repository, you'll have to have that running. 
All right, so now we should be ready to check out a repository. So I'm going to just choose a random one here. Let's choose auto ready. I'm going to make sure I've selected this SSH version. So there's HTTPS or SSH. Um, Git extensions does not support authenticated HTTPS, so we'll have to stick to SSH, which is better and faster anyway. Go to Git extensions. I'll clone a repository, paste in that URL. So notice I copied everything except for git clone. It's just the URL. Um, destinations, I'll put it in C data projects. And subdirectory to create, I'll call it auto ready. And you can choose a branch. We'll just check out master. So master will be like our trunk in our SVN version. So let's clone that. You can see the progress at the top. Now, this first initial clone, it's actually pulling down the entire repository. So, um, when you pull, want to pull latest versions, it's going to go much quicker. All right, and go ahead and open that. So, we can see we have our commits here. Um, notice that. So master would be a local branch, origin slash whatever will be a remote branch. All right, so if we open this directory, we can see we have our project, and that's it.